Hi, my name is Linda Capaldo and I'm here with Owl Hollow's Amazing Grace. Uh, we've had a couple of our followers reach out to us and they're looking for <laughs> main role videos um, for show season here in the Northeast. Uh, Miss Grace here will be making her show debut at the Maryland State Fair uh, at, on Labor Day weekend. So we have been practicing with her with main, rail, main roles. Um, she's been doing really good. So we're going to uh, work on one here today and show you guys what we do. So first of all, we use, this is not our farm colors. We use this one as a practice tool. That way we're not ruining our good show equipment. What you want to do is you want to start with a bridal path or for, in Grace's case, we just have it uh, split here, nice little path pulled apart. And you're gonna lay your banding roll there at the top. Then you're gonna take your first piece of hair. And the key to doing these, uh, these rolls uh, consistently and correctly is making sure you do the same order of operations. Uh, so basically you're gonna go left to right. That's how it works best for me with your strips of cloth. And then you're gonna take up your next piece. And then I like to twist to my side. So we have our piece picked up and I'm taking it closest to me. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, left to right. Sorry, Justin, didn't mean to almost hit you there. And then you pull, you pull. You wanna make sure you keep everything tight. Now I have my piece, I'm gonna twist it close to myself. Next part you want to do is you want to pick up more hair and you add that to your piece. Stand, that you put stand up. still Grace. <laughs> stand stand still Grace. And I like to do just a little twist to make sure everything stays together. So you have your two pieces and we're going to flip left and we're going to flip right. And we're going to do our tug. I'm going to pick up my piece that I had laying down here. Now I'm twisting closest to myself. Easy, Gracie. I'm just making sure that my strips of cloth stay tight. And I'm taking another finger, finger full of hair. It's roughly about a finger length. Might be a little bit wider. Try not to get wider than that though. And just a little twist to keep everything pulled together. Back at it, left. Right? Let's do that. Pull tight. Pulling the hair and twisting and everything real slow if you can. Pull tight. We're going to pick up Stand. our piece that I had laid down. I don't have quite enough fingers, guys. That's why I let my one piece lay. And then we're picking up another section of hair, about a finger width wide, and adding it to our hair at the top. Little twist, and then we're gonna do our flip. We go left, we go right, we pull down tight. If you have another set of hands, like Jess is normally my extra set of hands, but he's running the camera right now, it's helpful to have them pull the, the strips for you. And then we're gonna take and twist. That piece goes down. Pick up another finger width section of hair. Stand, ah, ah, Grace. Grace. Stand. And you add that to your one up top. Give it a little twist. And you guys hear me making that very obnoxious noise. Um, all of our horses, we train to a no noise. She knows that is her no noise. So anytime I make that really obnoxious noise, she's like, oh, I'm doing something wrong. I need to figure it out and stop it. <laughs> and we're going to pull tight. I'm gonna pick up my piece that was laying down there. I know, I let go. I'm doing my twist toward myself. Picking up my next finger full of hair. Adding to the top. Give her a little twist. All right, I'm gonna pause here so you can get a little further in your... Yep. All right, guys, we're back. I'm about two thirds of the way down her neck. Um, it's really a judgment call with how, how long you take this down. Um, for hitch horses, you want to stop um, closer up here uh, so that you're not down so far for where your collar sits. 
um, for halter classes, you want to take it down a little bit farther. Um, it also depends on, you know, what you're showing as to how you're actually doing the mane. Like with foals, you, you take up all of the, the mane. Uh, with hitch horses or horses that you're looking to accentuate parts of the neck, you leave part of the hair down um, and only braid the crest of the neck, which um, gives it a more seemly appearance. Um, you also want to decorate with um, flights and sprigs and things of that nature. Um, and all that can be uh, bought either commercially or you can, you can make them yourself. I personally bought ours commercially. Um, you can reach out to us if you'd like to know who we got ours from. Again, this one here is just a, a practice tool. Um, we have some really, really nice ones that we got um, online from another company. But, so at this point, I'm just going down. I'm going to finish hers here soon. I don't want to go too close to her withers because if you go down too terrible far, and especially with these babies, if you if you try to get down too far and they drop their head, they're going to undo this thing like a zipper. It's kind of a mess. So I'm going to close her off here. And you do this following my doing the wrong order of operations here. I'm talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Stan Grace. Ah, Grace. Ah, ah. Grace. Stan. And you're going to continue to finish out your little braid here just like you've been doing um, the whole way down the neck. Only you're not picking up more hair. You want to keep make sure you keep your ends tight and you're holding on to your to your ribbons and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stop this here because I'm getting a little bit low on hair and then to finish this out you want to take one of your tails and you want to wrap it around and then you want to tuck it through itself stand grace for four months old. She's not doing too bad. No. And then I don't know if anybody else does this, but just for a little bit of added security, I go ahead and I wrap my other one as well. If any other seasoned show folk have any additional tips or tricks, I'd be more than happy to hear your input here on the page, but not too bad. You want to make sure that it lays along the crest of the neck and you don't have it um, too terrible wobbly. Um, making sure that the hair's damp when you go to you, go to braid it really helps. Um, helps with all these little flyaways. If I was finishing her out for an older her, her horse halter class, I would put some flights in and we can do a video on Tanner and I can show you how to put the flights in. Typically just they're what seven and nine. I would have to look. I yeah, forget. I'll have to look at it and see what his class will be. But typically You'll start in the middle of the neck at your highest point and you evenly space them out from there. But again, I can show you that on Tanner when we do this video. And I can also show you how to do a, a tail bun uh, on him as well. If you guys have any questions, don't, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to the page. I'll, I'll help in any way I can. So thank you and have a great night.